Gene therapy represents a potential new treatment for inherited heart disorders for which traditional therapies have not addressed the underlying cause, including genetic cardiomyopathies. At Tanaya Therapeutics, we are developing an investigational gene therapy called TN201 that is specifically designed to treat hypertrophic cardiomyopathy caused by mutations in the MYBPC3 gene. Mutations in the MYPBC3 gene are the most common cause of genetic HCM, reducing the levels of myosin-binding protein C and impairing the optimal function of the sarcomere. The myosin-binding protein plays a central role in regulating both cardiac muscle contraction and relaxation. Specifically, it interacts with components from both the thin and thick filaments and prevents a cross-bridging activity between myosin and actin and limits force generation during contraction. It also contributes to the regulation of contraction dynamics by changing the myosin head configuration from disordered relaxed state, which is when myosin head is ready for contractility and cross-bridging formation with actin, to super relaxed state. This change to the energy-conserving myosin state will lead to contractility reduction and relaxation of the sarcomere. TN201 delivers a working copy of the MYBPC3 gene into cardiomyocytes, restoring levels of myosin-binding protein C and subsequently the function of the sarcomere, thereby addressing the underlying cause of HCM in patients. Let's zoom in to understand how TN201 delivers, called transduction, into the heart. TN201 is administered as a one-time intravenous infusion. This method of delivery is made possible by using a Dino-associated virus, AAV, which are not disease-causing and used in gene therapy to deliver transgenes to various tissues throughout the body, including the heart. Tanaya selected AAV9 due to its natural tropism for cardiomyocytes, as demonstrated across multiple preclinical models and confirmed by human heart biopsies in another rare cardiomyopathy. Tanaya manufactures TN201 by replacing the viral DNA with the MYBPC3 transgene, and a proprietary cardiac selective promoter drives expression of MYBPC3 in cardiomyocytes. The TN201 AAV9 capsid binds to receptors at the surface of the cardiomyocyte and is taken into the cell via an endosome. Following endosomal escape, TN201 enters the nucleus where it releases the MYBPC3 transgene. The transgene undergoes circularization, creating a separate stable genome called episomal DNA. Importantly, the TN201 DNA does not integrate into the host DNA. Through the natural transcription process, mRNA travels to the ribosomes to produce functional myosin binding protein C. Due to the stability of the episomal DNA and the non-dividing nature of adult cardiomyocytes, TN201 treatment has the potential for a durable clinical benefit. By delivering a working MYBPC3 gene to restore functional protein levels, a single dose of TN201 has the potential to modify or even reverse the course of HCM. If successful, TN201 could replace the need for lifelong pharmacotherapy or surgical intervention that represent the current standard of care, neither of which address the underlying genetic cause of MYBPC3-associated HCM. To learn more about a new era for genetic cardiomyopathies, including TN201 and clinical studies, email us at metafairs at or go to clinicaltrials.gov for more information.